geologists are really important for planning the, both the above ground and below ground of our future cities. So many of our undergraduates from the University of Portsmouth go on to work in engineering geology fields. So they're going out and working on big scale infrastructure projects such as HS2. We also have opportunities for undergraduate students to do placements such as a sandwich year in industry. Now we're going to learn a lot more about engineering geology from my colleague, Dr. Andy Gibson. Hi, I'm Andy Gibson. I'm one of the engineering geology lecturers here at the University of Portsmouth. Um, and what we do is we use the, the natural geological geo-environmental knowledge that we pick up as, as geoscientists and we apply it to the built environment. Whether that's helping build roads, whether that's helping build cities, or whether that's helping clean up contaminated sites, or try to predict how geohazards might affect uh, the environment. Personally, I've worked in, the, in this for over 20 years. I've investigated tsunamis, I've investigated landslides and earthquakes all over the world. Um, so some of it's amazing. And other, other things that we do is we help build bridges, we help build hospitals in, in developing countries and in the UK. To make a sustainable planet, we need to build millions of homes every year, but we also need to make sure they're in the best places they can be. They, they make, need to make sure they're safe. We need to make sure that our hospitals are in the best possible places. And a sustainable city is actually something that's really quite complex to build. And we work in China, we work in India, we work in Hong Kong, trying to, to help those communities to, whether they're a large corporation or a local, uh, local village, to make their communities safer. It's a really important job, it's a really important career. Our graduates go from here on to engineering geology job. Most of our students do a placement year, so they actually work for 12 months paid in, indus in, in industry with one of our industrial partners. The placements themselves are well paid, up to £30,000 a year, and we, we try to encourage as many people as, as we can to take that in their third year as an option, because it gives you a real flavour of what it's like to work in the real world. Let's meet Alex, one of our geology students who's been on an industrial placement. Uh, my name is Alex and I study geology. Um, so I had a sandwich year placement. For my placement I went with a company called Structural Soils uh, based in Bristol. I really enjoyed my placement um, because I gained so many skills from it and I mainly went on it because I wanted to gain real life experience that then would be transferable um, for employment after university um, and I learned so many valuable skills both in geology, engineering geology and also like the business side of um, companies. So the university set up a careers fair um, for geoscience and structural soils were there and that linked me up with them so I sent a few emails and then got, got an interview with them and the rest is history. <laughs> Um, so the major projects that everyone would know is uh, the grand investigation for Sizewell Power Station C and the HS2 uh, Railway uh, grand investigation. And then there was also the little jobs. There was some for new Dyson factory, some for um, just people's back gardens for subsidence and everything. Um, the most interesting one was actually on a pier in Gosport, uh, one of the military um, barracks uh, so that was really interesting but I had quite a lot of responsibility um, so from my first two months I sort of just followed um, my colleagues and sort of gained experience with them and then within yeah two months I was then given my own job and from then um, I either did my own jobs or I was uh, the second engineer on site um, I was in charge of project managing my own mini jobs um, so I went from communicating with the um, client to then setting up the job, project managing the job and being in charge of logging on site and managing everyone and then taking samples and then writing the report at the end as well. Um, so my skills progressed a lot over the year on my placement. So I didn't know how to log uh, to engineering standards before my placement as I'm doing geology at university, not engineering geology. Um, so by the end, um, it was second nature to log uh, to this standard. Um, I also learned how to take in-situ testing on site, but then also my 
communication with clients and also um, the business side of companies so the things like invoices and and everything like that so they were I would say very vital non-taught skills that I learned. So for potential students who would like to go on placement I would recommend just putting the effort in to look for one and to com communicate. I mean I got rejected a lot but then in the end I, I got one um, and just I got told that my persistency actually got me my interview so that's sort of quite vital just keep keep going keep doing it and hopefully you will get one in the end if you want an office job geology isn't what you want to do but if you don't want to be in the office every day and you don't want to be just in the classroom every day and you want to be outside and doing practical things definitely definitely do geology <laughs>